Okay, hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about classful and classless routing protocols. Now these are two categories that we can use to classify routing protocols and we've used this approach before. The last time you may recall we talked about IGPs and EGPs in order to classify routing protocols. Well this time we're using two different categories. So we're going to talk about each of these two categories and figure out how they differ from one another. So we'll begin with classful. A classful routing protocol is known by not sending subnet mask information along with any routing updates it sends to other routers. Okay, so the subnet mask is not sent along with the subnet number. Now that means that routers using a classful routing protocol have to assume a classful subnet mask. So either a class A, a class B, or a class C network subnet mask is assumed because that information is not sent along. That means that classful routing protocols, they have to use auto summarization at the different network boundaries because again, they are working on the assumption of classful subnet masks. Okay? So that means they don't support variable length subnet masks because they don't send in information along, so they have to in other words, play it by the books, you know, play it by the rules. If they see a, if they see a particular subnet number, they immediately go ahead and classify it into an A, B, or C um, network number, and then they go ahead and use that associated subnet mask. Okay? An example of a classful routing protocol is RIP version 1. And if you checked out those tutorials, we know that in version 1, the subnet mask was not sent along in any of the routing updates. Now this is different than a classless routing protocol. Classless routing protocols do send subnet mask information in their routing updates. That means that routers using it, they do not have to make an assumption as to which subnet mask is used because they actually have received that information. Okay, so in this case, classless routing protocols are not required to use auto summarization. In fact, manual summarization is supported by classless routing protocols. Furthermore, because you have the subnet mask information sent along with you, that means that a classless routing protocol will support variable length subnet masks, or VLSM. A few examples of routing protocols that are classless routing protocols are RIP version 2, EIGRP, and OSPF. Now, these are the two categories. Um, more often than not today, you're going to be coming across in production networks classless routing protocols because variable length subnet masking is so predominantly used all over, uh, without, throughout all the different networks around the world that the benefits are, are, are so great that classless routing protocols are used. However, it's important to understand the differences between the two because you might run into a RIP version one, but also even if you never run into a classful routing protocol, it's important to understand the characteristics of classless routing protocols because you come across them so often. Okay, so that's it really. It's a short tutorial. That is a classful routing protocol and a classless routing protocol. Thanks for watching.